button and bell icon window for your youtube channel and so many people ask me to how to create like me and today i will be decided to create a after effects tutorial for that and i think you can catch with my <laughs> voice and my english hope you enjoy and let's go jump to after effects create a new composition and name this composition what do you want i just add a subscribe and change the frame rate, frame rate into 30 and duration into 6 second now this is a basic interface this is your project window and you can import uh, anything here and first before you start just save your project you see, go into file and save your project and name anything i, I think i will try to <laughs> uh, demonstrate this video as a slow uh, as a beginner level because so many people ask me to create a tutorial in slow version okay first you need to create a rectangle uh, you can create a rectangle in rectangle shape tool and just to drag in here and go to selection tool and i just delete <laughs> okay this is we are creating this child subscribe and bell icon button so here is a, a this is a small rectangle and just change the color of rectangle by clicking in fill color and I think it's a gray color and just add a gray Yeah, now you need to centerize your anchor point. So go to pan behind the tool and tick on the snapping and make it the center. Because because of you want to create animation easily. So go to the first layer, for, uh, first frame. And if you press on the P in keyboard, you can get the position or just draw, drop down the shape layer and you can get the position also from transform and add a keyframe at the starting and just press, press the p in keyboard you can get the position only and just move it in first frame and move to the second uh, first second and move our rectangle into upside now you can get this types animation then then select the keyframe and right clicking keyframe not in other side just right click in keyframe and go to keyframe assistant and sorry it's no right click and easy ease now Select the both keyframe and go to graph editor. You can make it more smooth. I think it's not good. I just decrease the smoothness. Okay. You can adjust the graph for better animation. Now just increase the animation speed by moving last keyframe. 
now if you hit on the enter key you can rename your layer or right button you can also see the rename option and change into the bg because this is our floating bg now import your image your profile picture into the project window and drag it into timeline and before i decreasing just right click in image and pre-compose change the name into photo or anything and take on the move attribute move all attribute then decrease the composition like this and decrease i just decrease or oh, just turn off the snapping for perfect moving now create a right, uh, circle and make the anchor point into center using pan behind tool click on the snapping and make the center point into <laughs> anchor point into center and make it the top of this photo layer and now you need to mask this photo into the circle so select the photo and click on here active only this and now you can see the track mat in photo track mat change into alpha mat now you can see the photo through the circle this is the masking technique this is very important in after effects i think everybody is now now you can see your animation is perfect but the profile picture not animating so select both layers and parent parent into the bg layer if you don't see the parent and go to the columns and tick on the parent now select the both layer and click and drag it into bg now your profile photo parent into the bg layer you can transfer the you can get the same animation in your photo because you parent this layer into the bg now use the type tool and write your channel name this is my i am actually i am not this channel i just created and this is my new channel name life of rishab uh, i decided to create a, my day to day vlogging okay not a, that's not mattering here so just create a text and change the color into a a light dark also you can change the font i use the railway because it's the best ui font for ui font and make it more bold now i just turn off the snapping yeah here is the same problem it's not a problem uh, i just duplicate the same text using edit and duplicate you can press the control d for duplicate the layer and change the font style into a semi bold and write your caption or <laughs> the youtube channel id or anything now you need to select both layer and uh, 
parent into the same BG. So you can see the same animation for text. But we need to change the text animation and make it more smooth. So go to the end animation time and select the both text and this is the end animation of in the ending of the BG layer and press P in position add a keyframe and at the starting make it only change the position of text at the downside and select the caption and make it more move bottom you can see here I think it's not good and just to decrease the timing and select the old key and press F9 or go to keyframe assistant and apply the easy ease also you can get you can use the F9 for shortcut yeah this is okay because you need to animate your text separately for smooth preview now text animation is okay now you need to create the subscribe button so choose the rounded rectangle and before you create the rectangle you need to uh, change the fill coloring to it and if you click on this photo layer and click on drag you can you cannot get the shape because it's a mask so deselect the old layer in timeline then click and drag in the same the layer and if you press the left and right button while holding the mouse and you can adjust the smoothness the rounding of the rounded rectangle and change the anchor point into center using pen tool I think it's, if you go to the uh, I just change the uh, you can you can adjust the curve again by going to the condensed rectangle one and rectangle path one and here is the roundness you can adjust again and also you can adjust the scale if you adjust the scale here you can get the proportion same proportion if you unlink in here you can adjust separately the height and width you can adjust the separately height or width anything and now select the subscribe button and use the type tool and just to write the text subscribe and change the color into white and make it more extra bold and make it center of I think the best is to change the paragraph into the center of again and make it center of this box uh, just play with the font size yeah I think it's okay
then select both layer and make it parent of bg i think the better idea is select the both layer and precompose because you can and you can animate the subscriber button separately and so i just precompose this subscribe button and double click on was not seen here i think if you double click on and make it center of this composition if you back to the main composition you can see the subscribe composition here and change the position into here and just parent the subscribe composition into bg so you can see the same animation the moving animation also get get to subscribe button and now you need to animate or you need to the um, a click icon here's a a, a click icon so i need a finger or hand icon so just search the icon that's okay you go center perfectly fill and also it's a png format so just important to after effects now its size is too over so decrease the size of this finger just rotate if you press the r button in the in english letter r in keyboard you can get the rotation tool and i just rotate the finger and p for position at here add a keyframe in position and go just move your timeline little forward and change the position of the hand the finger like this so you can get the animation like this Now you want to stick the finger at the same position so add a keyframe like this and at the last frame you need to move it down I just delete just backspace the and so we need animation to hit this time so use the puppet pin and add a keyframe and add a pin at this area and this area and at the end of this finger and go to the selection if you press the u button in keyboard you can get only the keyframed value I just choose a position P in keyboard and add a change move your finger like this things not Put it here because the curve, the path is more smooth. So select the old key and press F9 in keyboard for easy ease action. I think here is some problem. I choose the puppet pin in FS control and adjust again. 
I delete the end keyframe and set the this keyframe and control C copy and control V the same key for linear animation. Yeah, now it's okay. Now we want to animate just delete and again control C control V the before key now we need to animate the subscribe button so this we need to animate at this 2 to 3 second so go to the subscribe composition and we need to animate at this time so if you click on the subscribe button it must be changed into the subscribed so at this end change the subscribe into the top so i add a keyframe in position now control d for duplicate the same text and at the starting just check delete the keyframe by click on this job watch now add another keyframe this second text and at the starting this text in bottom side so you can get this animation like this and change the text into subscribed because when you hit the subscribe button it must change into the subscribed yeah now select to alt key and press F9 for smooth animation plus hit the plus button in keyboard you can zoom the timeline now I think animation is animation is okay now we need to only see the texture through that box so duplicate the red shape two times and make it top of this each text and change the name into mask also you can change name right button and rename change into mask then select the first text and track mat into alpha mat and set second text alpha mat into track mat into alpha mat sorry now you can see the only you can see the text through the box now at this time your rectangle size is you need to increase the size of this rectangle so add a keyframe in size and just decrease the size at this time when you hit the subscribe because this text is more width than subscribe yeah i think it's okay a little bit problem here I think timing is not good adjust the time for until you get a perfect timing now you need to animate the same color so go to the fill and add a keyframe in color at the starting is red and ending is a dark and grey now if you go to the main 
and also change the second text i mean subscribed text into red, uh, black if you get the if you go to the main composition you can see i think these colors too light i just dark again yeah now is okay i think timing is little i need to adjust the timing so you key press the u button in keyboard you can get the old keyframe and adjust the puppet pin keyframe now you need to add a bell icon so you can also search the bell icon in youtube you can get to the plenty of bell designs from youtube i think this is the best icon for youtube and just drag and drop into the composition and click hit on this area and you can get the transparent window and just decrease the size of this icon and this is a png we need to animate so select the layer and go to the layer window and here is the option auto trace because you need to convert this image into a shape so apply delete uh, just tick off the blur and tolerance tolerance into 4 threshold into 5 and also minimum median 2 picks and roundness into 100 percentage now you can get, get the same image into a shape layer so if you need to change the color set this solid and go to layer and solid setting you can change that solid color now okay then select the mask and here is the shapes you can see and mask 2 and 3 is the notification the vibration icon first you need to delete the old starting keyframe as defaultly cre created starting keyframe so before i delete it if you press the if you hit the shift key and click any anchor point you can select the anchor point separately so i just add a keyframe at ending sorry before we start just press u button in keyboard you can get the old keyframe and delete the old keyframe and we need to start again So go to the mask one and add a keyframe with mask path and mask three also mask three path because we need to animate this vibrating icon vibrating symbol so if you press the shift if you hold the shift key and click any point you can select all points separately so hit the uh, hold the shift key and click every points now if you click and drag any window <laughs> sorry any point you can move all the shape then change the uh, mask into add from different and also go to the mask one shift hold the shift key and click on every anchor point and move the icon into center and change the mask into different from different into add now you can get the smooth bell icon anim animated bell icon now 
if you you can animate this position the bell icons position so i just drag into the bottom layer of this bell icon then at the starting change the position and add a keyframe and move your playhead a little bit forward and just move your bell icon like this so you can see the animation like here and select the key and press F9 in keyboard for easy ease animation Now everything is okay. Now you need to animate your finger again. I think it's difficult to do. Uh, actually, it's not a hard thing. It's very easy. Uh, if you don't, if you don't know how to use pop puppet pin, just Google it. How to use puppet puppet? Sorry, how to use puppet pin in after effects you can see the more tutorial about puppet pin and also animate in here so i just copy paste the same keyframe by hit the control c and control v the keyframe oh i think the problem is it's not linear it's smooth animation so i need to linear this animation so press control and click on this icon you can convert into linear animation and copy paste the same key into forward And delete this key and select this key and control C control V so at this time we need to animate press so select the puppet pin and at this time before we need to add a, another keyframe at the starting so press the U, add a keyframe at here and move a little bit forward of your playhead and change the position at the ending, same position. Yeah, I think animation is okay. Now everything is okay. And at the ending you need to move your subscribe floating bar into down set. So add a keyframe and at the ending add another keyframe at the top position. Sorry the bottom position. now sorry yeah i think your floating icon is okay now you need to render your video so here is a, some technique for transferring video go to composition and add to render queue in output module change the format into QuickTime and format option into change the video codec into png then if you come back to the channel you can change into rgb plus alpha and select the output window which which folder you want to render and hit the render key now you can get the transparent video any footage or your video into premiere and it just 
use a sample video and drag your exported video into any top of video and right button and scale the frame size for fitting your video into composition and that's only you want to do and it's a very easy you can use this video in a very every video of your youtube and hope you enjoy it and this is very i think it's very simple technique and it's not a advanced but you need to understand what how to use the puppet pin and how to perfectly use the keyframe easy is and easy how easy easy is and also you need to you need to know how to use the parent key in afterwards and hope you enjoy it if you like it or if you useful this video please hit on the subscribe button for more videos and i will try to upload every <laughs> week video and keep love and support See.